wishes to all come true and buy more letters so it seems robots bring to me gifts of wealth and treasure servants sing to me love songs tender on my persian rug sunny day drift away bring me the gold of my dreams from the 20s, and I can't remember who wrote it, but I got it from R. Crumb and the Cheap Suit Serenaders. So, um, Persian Rug, and I dedicate that to my friend and neighbor, John Briggs. Welcome to show 61. <laughs> I must remember to say that. Now, here's a tune some of you will know. the idea. This is, I call it, Ina Kleine Hold Music. This is, this is what you hear if you apply for food stamps. I had to listen to it for a half hour today. <laughs> Finally, I got out the guitar and learned it. <laughs> okay. From the Great Charlie Poole. I should have never trusted you Throw up your hands, babe, I'm gonna go I was a good man while I had the dough So it's goodbye, Miss Eliza I'm gonna leave you You know 
I know As the fairy with the do-do-do So sing a little song Travel along, yes, travel along I bid you good day, babe I'm on my way Goodbye, Miss Liza Jane It might rain. Give me the clothes that I paid for too. Down in the trunk, will I hand me them things? Give me here my diamond ring. Tell Mr. Brown he can dress you all up new. Go up your hand, babe, I'm going to. I was a good man while I had the door, so it's goodbye, Miss Eliza. I'm gonna leave you. You know, I know. As the fairy with the do do do, so sing a little song. Travel along, yes, travel along. Bid you good day, babe. I'm on my way. Goodbye, Miss Liza Jane. Goodbye, Liza Jane. Down in the trunk, will I hand me them things? Hello, the other camera. Same people, different camera. SSDD. No, well, you know what I mean. Um, I hope you've had a good week. My week has been very interesting. Listen to a lot of hold music this week. But um, I got some stuff done. Yep, I sure did. And. Um, Next week's show is half planned already, which is a step in the right direction. The weather is still crazy. I've got to say it. Now, this, of course, is February 21st, and you're seeing it who knows when. I sure don't, but I know it's in the future. It couldn't possibly be right now because I'll be editing this later and it doesn't get on TV until after I edit it and it doesn't get on YouTube until after I edit it. YouTube, very interesting. There's controversy about YouTube these days. They, they're not sure if they can control the use of 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 copyrighted materials, they're, they're having a hard time keeping track of everything. People are, you know, it's like if you, give, if you loan somebody a book, they want to sell another copy of the book. They don't want you to loan it to anyone economically. It's a loss of jobs. There's more jobs if you spend more money. Of course, if you don't have a job or if your job doesn't pay very well, then it's hard to think about creating jobs when you're struggling to get along. If you're clinging to the hull, it's very difficult to steer the ship, isn't it? I hear voices from the other room. Yes, the whole world is going on around me. And here I am in my studio doing my show for you. And there are things going on all around you. And here you are staring at the TV and listening to the guy on the TV. It's very interesting. Now I've got to do a song by Otis Blackwell. 
You may not have heard of Otis Blackwell. Understandable. But Otis Blackwell is also one of the terrific rock and roll songwriters. He co-wrote Fever. He wrote the song I'm going to play. He wrote All Shook Up, Handyman. He wrote Great Balls of Fire and Breathless. This guy was just great, just great. The other guy who wrote Fever was Eddie Cooley. Eddie Cooley was amazing. You should hear Driftwood. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but Eddie Cooley and the Dimples doing Driftwood is great. Their big hit was called Priscilla, which may be easier to find. At any rate, from the great, from the pen of the great Brooklyn-born Otis Blackwell. Well, you know I can be found Sitting here all alone If you can't come around At least please telephone Don't be cruel To a heart that's true Maybe if I made you mad With something I might have said Please let's forget the past your reporter standing by a curtain holding a microphone yeah this it's very interesting having a microphone no microphone stand this is the kind of thing that a person does on stage when they're emceeing and they're introducing people yep they do stuff like this oh how do you like my uh, stage set it consists of one piece of gaffer's tape. It's just to, uh, to offset the, um, the blankness of the curtain. Here, I'll let you look at it. Uh, how do you like that? Isn't that great? How many TV shows do you see that show that? That reminds me of um, a story, a great story. I think it was about Mayer, Louis Mayer. He went to uh, the movie set of uh, Dead End, which was a Humphrey Bogart movie. 
the first one to feature the Dead End Kids, later known as the East Side Kids. But um, the Dead End Kids, Leo Gorsi, Hunts Hall, who died robbing a gas station. Oh my God, got shot. Um, sad, it's too bad. But um, I think Gorsi did okay. Uh, I know that Sabu did okay. He had a furniture store in L.A. But anyway, as I was saying about these guys, uh, Dead End Street, Dead End, excuse me, Dead End, the movie. Uh, Louis Mayer walked around on the set, and of course they were, uh, it was a back alley, and it was supposed to be a slum, so there were newspapers and uh, rags lying around to make it realistic. And Louis Mayer saw all this stuff, and he, he, st he started picking it up and throwing it away. And they said, hey, wait a minute, boss. That's part of the stage set. And he said, there's no garbage in my movies. It's very interesting. I think this is the same fellow who someone was talking to about having a message. You know, what message does this movie send? And he looks at the guy. He says, if I want to send a message, I'll use Western Union. Yep, he was one of the old timers. Mm, he was really great. I mean, he wasn't Yogi Berra, but he was quite quotable. I think he said, um, is he the one who said, uh, a handshake agreement isn't worth the paper it's printed on? At any rate, this is quite a stage set. Yes, I don't think Louis Mayer would want to appear with a thing like, well, he was a, he was a cornball from Europe. What do we know? What does he know? What do I know? Ah, and as time dwindles down to the precious few, uh, as we say in the September song, can't remember who wrote it, um, we're going to soon be leaving you, uh, this in terms of show 61, that is. Yes, show 61 will be coming to a close because it can't go on forever, obviously. Not even we go on forever. Not the studio, the Empire State Building will crumble someday. Even Hoover Dam may fall down someday. Have you read about Hoover Dam? Incredible, this dam. Uh, it's some dam. And when it was built, Las Vegas was nothing. It helped form Las Vegas. I, ha I just got a book at a book sale about the making of Mount Rushmore, the actual carving and engineering feat of doing Mount Rushmore. Isn't that amazing? I have a picture in a book about 1927. The entire book is about 1927, everything that happened that year. And uh, it has a picture of the mountain before they carved four faces into it. It looks better. But this is nothing against those four people. There are four great people. Whether they're better than any other four people in the entire country for hundreds of years, I don't know. But they are up on that mountain, and they'll stay there for millennia. I don't know how many millennia. Many millennia. You can, you can take a boy out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the boy. You can take a song away from Chuck Berry. Can you take Chuck Berry away from a song? I don't know. She drew out all her money from the Southern Trust, put her lip upon a port of Greyhound bus, leaving Louisiana for the good and west. Down came my tears from a happiness. Johnny B. Good was gonna make some old shot pictures out in Hollywood, hollering bye, 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 bye. Hollering bye, 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 bye. Goodbye, Johnny, goodbye, Johnny B. Good. 
Well, she remembered saving money up from gathering crops and buying Johnny's guitar at a broker shop. As long as he would pay it by the railroad sign, wouldn't get in trouble, she was satisfied. She never thought that they would come a day like this one. She would have to give her son a goodbye. Kiss your holler and She finally got that letter she was dreaming of. Johnny wrote and told her he had fell in love. As soon as they were married, he would bring her back and build a mansion for her by the railroad track. When the time they heard the locomotive roar, they'd be standing and waving at the kitchen door, hollering, Bye. Johnny, be good. Bye bye, Johnny. Bye bye, Johnny, which uh, didn't make it so well as a single by Chuck Berry. Got a real kick in the butt from uh, the Rolling Stones. They put it on their first EP, along with Poison Ivy and a couple other nice. Well, what would they call them, chestnuts? A couple of other good songs that they didn't write. And this was a big hit in Britain, and it wasn't even released here. I can't remember what year it was when they finally released Bye Bye Johnny in America. <laughs> I can't remember which year they finally released Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry is still going. He's in his 80s and he's still going. He still plays once a week. He still goes out for shows. It's amazing. He is pretty amazing. And I understand he's very interesting to work with. And uh, of course, his stuff has always been very interesting to play along with because most of it is in stuff like F and B flat and all these great piano keys because he was playing along with uh, Johnny Johnson, his piano player, who made all the Chuck Berry records sound great. And um, it is said by musicologists that his style was meant to replicate and to uh, coordinate with Johnny Johnson's piano. And that's uh, part of how it got its unique rhythms and complexity. All that stuff like that there. All that there stuff like that. Like that there stuff. Great God Almighty, let me tell the news. My 
head got a wet in midnight do Great God I've been down on bended knee Talking to the man from Galilee My car spoke and it sounds so sweet I thought I heard the shuffle of my angel's feet He put one hand upon my head Great God Almighty let me tell you what he said Go till that long tongue alarm Go till that midnight rider I tell the gamble and a ramble and backbiter Till I'm gonna mighty gonna cut him down You might run on for a long time Run on, talking and dodging Run on, children, for a long time Let me tell you, God Almighty gonna cut you down You might run on for a long time Run on Talking and dodging, run on children for a long time. Let me tell you, God Almighty gonna cut you down. Some people go to church just a signified, trying to make a date with their neighbor's wife. Brother, let me tell you, just as sure as you're born, you better leave that woman alone. Because of one of these days, you mark my word. You think that brother has gone to work. You go up and you knock on his door. That's all, brother, you will knock no more. You might run on for a long time. You roll on. Ducking and dodging, I run on children for a long time. Let me tell you, God Almighty gonna cut you down. You might run on for a long time. Run on, ducking and dodging, I run on children for a long time. Let me tell you, God Almighty gonna cut you down. Ah, yes. And in the final two minutes, in the final two minutes of this show, I'm going to go from side to side because I know you have always wanted to take a sea voyage and you haven't been able to afford to. Neither have I. I had a job in the airport. That was very interesting. I had a job in the airport for four months. I was a north exit monitor. That may not mean too much to everybody. but. It was a heck of a job, and it was very interesting. I had to see, s I, I saw people every day who were having a special day. They were going someplace special. They were seeing somebody they hadn't seen in years. They were going someplace. They were returning home. It was very interesting. A I, I, I wish I could tell you that most of the planes were on time. I can't tell you that, not truthfully. It's pretty interesting, but enough of that. No more deeper philosophy, no deeper philosophy for you. This is it. This is goodbye. This is show 61. We'll see you for show 62. I'm absolutely sure. Have a good week. And if you're seeing this someday far in the future, I hope there are good weeks there too. Goodbye.